Hey guys, iPod Curve King here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Microsoft Office 2010 as well as other main PC applications on your iPad using an application called OnLive Desktop. So, like I said right there, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Microsoft Office 2010 and most PC applications on your iPad. Currently, this does not work for iPhone and iPod Touch. I don't know if there will be an update for that in the future, but right now, it just only works on iPad currently. So, basically, what you need to do is open up the App Store and download a free application called On Live Desktop right here. It is completely free. Right now, it's in the top 25, so it's easy to find. But right there is to download it right here. I'm just going to read to you guys what it says so you get a better understanding of what I'm going to be reviewing. So it says, On Live Desktop is a service that provides a seamless, no, compro <laughs> no compromise, instant response, cloud-based PC desktop wherever you want, you wherever you want it. On Live brings your iPad to a high-performance PC experience regardless of the content, even when it's interacting with fast action media. So that's basically what I'm going to do. It's a really awesome program and it runs very well. So now I'm going to be showing you guys and actually getting into the review part of the video. So when you open the application, this is what it's going to look like. From here, all you have to do is you jump over to your computer and create a free account on you when you go to onlive.com. Create a free account, it won't take more than a minute. So once you're done that, all you have to do is log in using your email and password and press sign in. So wait. We'll take a bit, but once you... And there we have it. This is our on live desktop. Now there's a couple key things that you will notice. Right now it is actually running complete Windows 7 Arrow. So as you can see we have a complete Windows 7 desktop. And when I mean complete, I mean complete. We can have this, you know, nice selection thing. <laughs> it actually has that nice glass panels. We have our start menu. We have our documents. This isn't really what I showed you guys in the last video where I showed you guys how to control your c computer from your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch. This is kind of just your own desktop, but it, it runs, a I think, a lot smoother and a lot more like Windows, I guess. <laughs> so you have all your documents. You can go into your documents, your libraries. And what's amazing, it is not running on any other computer. This is your own computer right here. So you can go in pictures, music, all this kind of stuff, just to give you guys a little tour. If you're familiar with Windows 7, you will be familiar with this in no time. You'll get this all downright awesome. Very nice program. We have, just to show you guys, we have our live start menu. We have, you can go into, uh, let's see, Windows Media Player, wherever that is. Uh, if I can find it, but I'll just go into Paint. Uh, <laughs> so here I have Paint. This is a network problem right there. That doesn't really affect anything, but we have Paint. I mean, it works very well. We have, this is our most PC applications. Ones with basically no lag. Once you have the application up, we can, like, move the windows, as you can see right there. We can change the font color. Oh, not the font, but we can change the color, as you can see right there. That's very nice. I close the application. Do you want to save it? It will ask me. Right, when I close it. Oh, close it. I know I don't want to save. It does take a little bit to get used to, but once you're good, you're good to go, and you can be running these programs. Now, now that you're familiar with how it works, <laughs> it runs just like Windows 7, I'm going to show you guys the main features, and that is running Microsoft Office on your iPad. Now, as you can see down the corner, we have Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint. Those are amazing. I mean, it runs just like... Microsoft Office 2010, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint on your desktop on your computer. So it's going to launch Word for the sake of this video. Double click. Oh, I don't think I, I think I double clicked on the keyboard. But, oh, no, no, I didn't want to do that. So Word 2010, right there. Here we have it. Word right on our fingertips, which is always nice. We have this, I mean, it, it's Word. I don't really want to explain what you can do because you can do exactly what Word does except on your iPad. So, one thing I do want to point out though is the keyboard. If I can get out the keyboard. Right now it's having a little fuzzy. It's being a little fuzzy. It does that a couple times, but a little heel, I guess. Uh, do that. I want to show you guys the keyboard because that's pretty much the main gripe. My only pretty much a big gripe about this is the keyboard. If I can open it right here. This is our keyboard. Why not open up? Word. So this is the keyboard that you will type on if you do not have an external Bluetooth keyboard. 
This keyboard, to be honest, is not that great. I really wish that they just stuck with the regular Apple keyboard because this just lacks just because of its poor interface. The keys are tiny. It does show exactly what Windows does in the keyboard. You have the start menu, control, all delete, all that kind of stuff, which is always nice. However, I just really wish that they stuck with the normal keyboard. Uh, it does lag a bit, not as fast as the regular keyboard. However, it does work. And as you can see, text puts up on the flawlessly. Actually, out of the keyboard. Just scroll down. We're gonna adjust our font size with this application, or this, uh, I guess, yeah, application. Uh, so we're just gonna change the font just to show you guys what to do. Now we're gonna bring up the keyboard, tab, and the font is a different color. Do exactly what you can with Word, except on this iPad. Like I said, it does take a bit to get used to, but once you got that, you are good. Don't save. And I'm not going to go into Microsoft PowerPoint Excel just because it runs great. It runs a free, completely free. And you do not have to pay. I believe you get two gigabytes of cloud storage for free. And then I don't know what you need to do after. Probably need to pay or just don't have a limit. You have no other option but to just keep that to, uh, you know, storage. And here we have our, I'll just show you guys what we have here. This is a pretty nice feature. It just syncs with our computer so we can do all that kind of stuff. It automatically syncs with your computer if you set it up like that. And then you're good. You can create files on your computer, or not your computer, your iPad on the go. And then when you get back home, it'll launch it on your desktop, which is always nice. It's finished syncing files right there, just to show you guys. So that's that. I mean, it's very nice, very handy. I'm gonna we can open up sticky notes, show you guys. We can do that if we pull up the keyboard, but I don't wanna do that. No. No. Whatever. Uh but we have calculator. I mean it, it works just like Windows 7, so that's just nice. Exit out of that. So this is it. I mean, that's basically what it does. I totally recommend this. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's amazing what they can do with this. And for free, you couldn't go wrong. I definitely recommend getting all on live desktop if you need Word and just Microsoft Office 2010 on your iPad. That's about it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe up above. That will let you know when I post a new video. That's about it, guys. I'm King, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.